Hello, so today we'll talk about chapter 14 in multivariable. So from chapter 14, we started to, to talk about and learn about the concept of partial derivative. It's the same idea of derivative that we learned in BC and AB calculus, but one more. So there are two variables now. So because we didn't learn how to handle two variables at the same time yet, we use this language right here, fx and fy. So fx here means y is constant and when only x is moving. And fy means when x is constant and only y is changing and moving. So, <coughs> So fx here means the slope is the change, is rate of change when only x moves and y is constant in terms of z. So this can be rewritten as around z over around x and fy can be written as around z over around y. So this problem is asking us to do to get fx and fy for each point pqrs and the sign of it so first p is right here so first p is fx so fx means y y is constant so it's moving horizontally like this so, when it moves to the right, when the x value gets bigger and bigger, the z value is moving from 15 to 17 and 19 is also increasing. So, the change in z up is positive, is increasing because it's moving up. And also the bottom z is increasing. So the sign of fx of point P is positive and now it's Fy this time Fy is a little different because this time X is constant and Y is changing so it will be a horizontal line like this so when Y is moving up which means the bottom around Y is positive the z value is going up from 15 to 17 to 19, so it's also positive. So both fx and fy in point P are both positive. So we learned this new concept, so we can use these for q, r, and s. So q, q, fx. So QFX, remember, Y is constant, so it's only moving horizontally. So when X is increasing this way, still going up from 15 to 17 to 19. So it's both positive, which means the FX is positive. The FY of Q is when Y is increasing is the denominator actually z value this time is moving from 15 to 13 is getting smaller and smaller at this at this point right now when it gets to here they start the z value starts to go up from 13 to 15 but at this point this instantaneous moment this rate of change right now at point q the z value is going down so around z will be negative so this negative will turn the whole fy into negative sign so move on to r this time and our x is increasing z value is decreasing like q did so it will be negative and fy oh 
Nope. Actually, when fx is moving up, yeah, it's moving from 15 to 13. It's getting smaller, so it is, it is negative. And fr fy is increasing, but still, to z is moving up, moving down from 15 to 13, which is negative. So this is negative. So fy fy is negative, which means at this point r in terms of looking at the y direction is changing negatively which means is decreasing and s here when x is increasing the z value is getting smaller so it will be like this which is negative and fy when y gets bigger Z value is getting bigger and bigger, so it's positive or positive, which is positive. So just to be clear again, all these signs means the same thing as derivative that we learned. So a derivative sign tells everything about the slope, if it's increasing or horizontal, just no slope or decreasing. So these positive means at that point to that direction in terms of that variable it is increasing and negative is telling us that at that point at that value with that variable it is decreasing thank you